Welcome to a long overdue episode of Netlinked Weekly. I was afraid we were going to have to start calling it Netlinked Monthly at some point because uh, we did go a little while without doing one, but I'm very excited to bring you this week's episode in a completely new studio space because the old one is gone. So we have this one now. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So it's the pre-holiday sale event. Whether we like it or not, you go to any store, the Christmas displays are all over the place, so there was no getting away from it. But remember guys, even before Christmas, there's Black Friday coming up, so you notice this sale runs from the 14th to the 22nd. Black Friday is on the 23rd, so that means that the sale has been extended in order to have a Black Friday sale that starts on Black Friday, so be very excited about that. As usual, you can check the weekly sale banner, see if you can find the hidden Linus. I actually couldn't find it this week, so guys, see if you can locate the Linus guy in there. You don't get anything for doing it except the self-satisfaction of finding a cartoon picture of me. However little self-satisfaction that may provide for you. Hot deals this week. Number one, 8 gig micro SD for $4.99. That's five bucks which actually wouldn't be that exceptional, except that it comes with free air shipping. So, I mean, you can't even, you can't even ship something by air in Canada for $5. So that should give you guys some idea. You know, the generosity that's going on here. If you want, you know, a micro SD card, then you'll appreciate that. Next up is the EA4500 router from Linksys. Now this is still a very expensive router, but it's a new price point for it, 160 bucks. And what's special about this router is the fact that Slick and I spent some time with it not that long ago, doing some extreme stress tests on it. We're talking torrents up and down and Twitch TV streaming and FTP downloads and no matter what we threw at it, it was just like, yeah. It did not care. Not one bit. So I just wanted to give that a bit of a highlight spot here. Next up is the MSI GTX 680. This is down to $399 after MIR. So these GTX 680s keep kind of coming down in price. Remember, they were going to launch at $599. They ended up launching at $499. And here we are a couple months later. It's already $100 cheaper. We've also got uh, some crazy closeout deal on some Dell Street 7-inch Android tablets. These have Tegra processors, Gorilla Glass. They are 100 bucks for what is essentially, well, an Android tablet. And it has micro SD for storage expansion too, so it's very, very versatile. Last but not least, another graphics card deal. GTX 570 for 179 after a mail-in rebate, or should you so desire, there's also a GTX 480, also from the EVGA, that's 179 without a mail-in rebate. They perform very similarly, but the GTX, did I say 680? Because I meant 480. The 480 performs about the same, but it does consume more power and it does run hotter than the 570 HD. Let's go ahead to our weekly news, and I'd also like to introduce our special guest this week on Netlinked Weekly, the one, the only, Slick. And here he is. Introduce yourself, Slick. Hey, everybody. My name is Slick. Okay, that's good. Very good introduction. I'd like you to take over the news segment this week. So go ahead. I'm leaving. Well, uh, a buddy of mine at school was trying to wait in line online to try and get a Nexus 4 today and he waited all morning and didn't end up getting one so I was kind of wondering how fast they sold out. Looked online and it was very obvious that they sold out in 50 minutes which is pretty crazy. Um, Nexus phones have really good support and Google's behind them so it's not that surprising. Okay, we have another news item. Go ahead. <clears throat> Fairly related. How is that? Okay, okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna step in here. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. <laughs> Slick, what makes you think that this is related? To the, uh, to the success of the Android platform there, because I don't really see the correlation between Antex, or Antex, Apple's stock price falling $100 in the last month. Um, I, ironically, the screenshot taken on the iPhone of yours truly, but... Uh, but um, I think it's not surprising that if a competitor is doing very well, that the other competitor might do very poorly. Very, very poorly. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, thank you, Slick. You've been a fantastic guest. Hope to see you again sometime. Ah, your hands are strong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he can get past the camera without getting spotted. He's very large. He's a very large human being. Much larger than me. Let's move right along. Actually, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for checking out this week's episode of Netlinked Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.